Hey kids, it's the Drive to School podcast. I am Pastor Goodman, your host, and uh, we're flying solo today. Hopefully it's not because I don't have any friends and no one wants to hang out with me. Actually, uh, we're going to be tackling uh, some things that aren't in the Bible, but everybody thinks that they are for the next few days. It's going to be super fun and uncomfortable. One of the first things that uh, we're going to have to tackle is God doesn't give you anything more than you can handle, which sounds awesome when somebody's having a bad day, except we don't really ever say it unless somebody is completely overwhelmed. Um, I don't know. Uh, There is a Bible verse that sort of sounds like it in uh, 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. It says, no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. That's not the same thing. That's not the same thing. And and we kind of need to recognize that simply in the fact that this is talking about temptation. Um, so even just sort of in the God won't give you anything you can't handle category, let's go with the commandments. How you doing on not sinning? Like, really, how's that going? Because you're right, you are free in Christ, you should actually be free in the Holy Spirit and the power of faith and the sanctification that isn't being made holy by God through Christ. You shouldn't be sinning are you? So here's the thing, when somebody's having one of the worst days of their life, probably the thing to tell them isn't just, you know, you can do it. Um, In fact, one of the really freeing things is reading just a single verse before this, where it actually says, therefore, let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed lest he fall. You see, if you actually think that you can do everything, that that God has equipped you perfectly for this moment, be, be real careful. And we don't say this to sort of rub somebody's nose in it when they're having a bad day, but rather actually to give them the freedom to know that if they are weak, if they are completely overwhelmed, the reality is they're not God, but God is God. That that even though God gives us things that we can't handle all the time, he handles them for us. You see, if God just doesn't give you anything that you can't handle, don't die. Don't get cancer don't uh, you see all of the places where we we simply have to wrestle with the realities of 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 sin and brokenness in this world that are completely overwhelming to us let alone how we process them how we examine them how we make our way through them in love and charity towards our neighbor there's all kinds of things that are lacking and we don't sort of try to rip this away from somebody to make their bad day worse but rather to sort of recognize it in our worst possible days it's not about you it's about christ for you In your worst possible day, when you are completely overwhelmed, the simplest question is not, has God given you the ability to do this? But rather, is Christ risen from the dead? Because if Christ is risen from the dead, then when everything is completely overwhelming, you get to ask, even though I am utterly perplexed as what to do next, even though I've tried my best and my best just wasn't actually good enough, is Christ still risen? Or has my inability somehow gone back in time 2,000 years and put him back in the tomb? Then, then I have something to stand on that's not myself. Because if we're going to read just like one more verse after this, it actually says, Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. And idolatry, part of idolatry is actually thinking that, well, you are God. You're not God. God has provided for you actually a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. And that is, that's the cross of Christ. You take all of the places where you weren't enough, all the places where you were enough but just didn't anyway, all of the places that you don't understand, all the places that you do understand but just did the wrong thing anyway, and you just heap them upon the the cross of Christ where he bled and died for you, for me, for all, for every last person who was completely overwhelmed by sin and all of its consequences in this world. And there we can have something to hang on to. We can endure, not in our ability to just get by, not in God sort of not giving us things that we can't handle. So if it's bad, we must be really, really strong because God gives his toughest battles to his strongest warrior. It, it's not that. It's it's actually that Christ has destroyed death. He has forgiven sin. And he gives us that to hang on to when we are completely overwhelmed because I am not God's strongest soldier. And quite frankly, I I know what it looks like when he when 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 you can find one. It's not strength but weakness. God's strongest soldier was his son. Jesus died on the cross. That is weakness. That that was strength. That is weakness. That was salvation. That is the, the thing that actually gets us by. And so unless you're eager to die on a cross, thanks be to God that he's already done it for you.
when we are watching somebody go through a really hard thing, the, the idea to encourage them is, is there. But rather than, than saying God doesn't give you anything that you can't handle, what you can say is that God has already handled it. He said it is finished upon a cross. And until something can go back in time and rip him off of that cross for you, you have plenty to hang on to. You're allowed to be overwhelmed. You're allowed to do the wrong thing. It's not that you're supposed to sin, but when you have sinned, where do you take it? It's not that you're supposed to be overwhelmed, but when you are overwhelmed, where do you take it? We take it to the place where God allows us to endure. The cross where he has bled and died to forgive our sins, to conquer our death, and to grant us salvation and, and a life that endures even where death itself would reign its head. So there's all kinds of things that God gives me that I can't handle. But he gives me a cross to handle it for me. He gives me an empty tomb to prove that it worked. I'm going to hang on to that. I suggest you do the same.